welcome to video journal number three for Red Dead Redemption. Um, I haven't really played too much more, uh, a little bit here and there, but um, I still wanted to try and post another uh, video journal. So this one is pretty much, I'm going to maybe talk about some tips, I guess, that I have for just things that have happened to me that, you know, might help you out as you're playing through. Um, so, the first thing that I can say is uh, save as often as you can. Um, you know, do it if you are in either of the town. If you happen to be in the towns and you have a place that you can sleep there, uh, make sure you save your game. And if you know you're heading out into you know, just explore or whatever, um, you know, make sure you set up a campsite and, and save your game there. Uh, and also take advantage of the multiple save slots. Um, there's been a couple times where I've headed out and run into things that I wasn't expecting to run into, and it kind of caught me off guard. Um, so luckily I was able to jump back to, you know, the previous save point and go to that and have a little bit better idea of what I was running into. Um... I've been trying as best I can not to just jump back to a previous save point just to beat something. Um, part of what I like about the game is the fact that you can fail certain tasks and um, or well, not necessarily fail them, um, but you can you know the say you're riding up and a rancher needs help um, and they end up dying or something. I've been trying as much as I can to not go back to that and try to save the rancher, uh, just because, much like you know, like with with heavy rain, um, I just I like the fact that it 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 moves along. You know, there's not like you have to do this in order for the story to keep progressing, um, which I I think is is a really great thing for games to have. Um, what else? Um, to get um, get the lasso, do I think it's the third or fourth time uh, story challenge thing that you would do with Bonnie. Um, so I, I would say that would do that as quick as possible. I, I'm pretty sure I haven't tried to, to use it yet um, with a bounty going after a criminal, but I th I'm pretty sure that having the lasso is the only way that you can bring them in alive. Because um, there's been a couple times where, you know, they tell you, you know, shoot them in the legs, um, where I I've done that, and then I get up to the body to bring them in and not kill them, and they just start shooting me because they're still alive. Um, so I had to kill them in order to not die myself. Um, so I, to get the lasso as quick as you can, and um, hopefully, maybe on the next video, I'll have accepted another bounty, and we'll let you know how that goes. Uh, the last thing I guess I really have is uh, I used bait for the first time. Uh, I was I have a couple more rabbits I need to kill as part of the uh, sharp shooting t sharp shooting challenge, and. Um, so I was like, well, hey, I'll use some bait and see if I can attract some rabbits or something around. Uh, ended up attracting a cougar, and it came up from behind me and just completely mauled the crap out of me and killed me. So be very, very careful when you're using bait, um, because you might get mauled by a cougar. Uh, um, other than that, uh, I'm still really enjoying it, obviously. Um, so... Tune in next time, and I don't know what I'll have. Um, you know, I, actually, next time, tune in. I want to talk about some of the mini games and side quests and stuff, because um, there's a lot of really cool stuff in there. So, um, until next time, thanks.